If you're like me, you often find yourself doom scrolling for good deals on random tools that you don't need. I found these five deals on woodworking products that are all under $40, and you're definitely going to want them. Especially this awesome Rubio knockoff that's almost $30 cheaper than Rubio. 30 freaking dollars. Instead of just talking these products up like every other YouTuber, I'm going to do a short build with all of them so you can see just how awesome they are yourself. For this project, I'm planning on carving one of the most beautiful pictures ever taken on this piece of maple. Before hopping into any project, we always gotta mill up our wood first. Just a quick run through the jointer, planer, and table saw to get everything nice and square. I'll be honest, most of these products I found lean more towards the finishing side of things anyways, other than our first tool on the list, so I'll try to burn through this as fast as possible. Speaking of which, this is the Microjig Fit Finder gauge, and it's $34 on Amazon with a 4.7 out of 5 star review. Using super powerful quantum mathematical equations, or just geometry, it removes all of the guesswork when finding your center line. You just butt it up against a piece of square stock, drop the up and down thingies and mark out the front one, leaving a line at the perfect halfway mark. Since I'm doing a CNC carving today, I wanted to resaw this in half to get a cool book match appearance on the front and not waste any wood. Since this micro jig fit finder found the perfect center line, I just lined the blade and the fence up and started cutting. It's really that easy. I use a domino joiner to keep it perfectly aligned during glue up because resawing can be iffy at times. Definitely not necessary here though. By the way, anyone know the best way to keep parallel clamps clean? These have seen better days, they've been through a lot of projects, and have a lot of glue on them. I definitely need to touch them up and prepare for some bigger projects in the future. Let me know what ideas you have for that in the comments. A notable mention, but really just specific to those with CNCs, is this Aura Mask 813 stuff. It's great for stencil work with trying to color in carved properties on a workpiece. It cuts easily and provides really clean lines if you carve with a downcut bit. Now, onto the picture carving before we hit the next four woodworking accessories. My buddy and I chose this picture because it's definitely going down in history as the most famous, or most infamous, picture ever taken. That being said, stick around and see its final turnout and comment any name suggestion you have for this piece. Next item on the list is this Starbond White. Here's a recent project where I use it to fill oak knot holes and it worked really well. Although it honestly ended up looking like crap in this project. For this carving, I just wanted to use it in some lettering, or numbering rather, but it would have been much cleaner looking on a darker wood. After it dried, I spray painted the rest of the carving with black paint and began peeling away the aura mask, which is super satisfying. This stuff holds strong, even to the tiniest of pieces left behind which needed to be removed with a razor blade. I cleaned it all up with a bit of quick sanding at 120 grit, but I always found sanding down Starbond, or any CA glue for that matter, is annoying and could cause issues with unevenness, which leads to my next product. These card scrapers are made from manganese steel, or however you say it, which is essentially the same as katana swords. They're $10 for this whole pack, which include different shapes and sizes and come pre-sharpened with a nice burr to cut with. If you're wanting to try out card scraping for the first time, these are a great set to practice with and will surely last a long time. Now, if someone were wanting to hang this up somewhere, I wanted to add some decorative holes to assist with that. Which leads me to these awesome plug cutters. These are the Cobalt 3-pack plug cutters and they come in three different sizes and are $30 on Amazon right now. I've used all types of plug cutters in the past, but these are the absolute best I've come across. I've never had issues with burning while using them and they stay center with a retractable center punch. They cut extremely easy and leave a tapered plug, which makes it even easier to glue into place. It's always satisfying filling up holes with some nice, hard, solid walnut. To flush these plugged holes up with the surface, I use this awesome butterfly style saw. It has two types of teeth on each side and is small enough to fit in your pocket. Even better, it's less than $15. Out of the box, it's sharp, cuts fast, and it's easy to manipulate in small places due to its size. I use this thing on almost every project I work on now because it's always in my pocket while in the shop. You've probably heard of this next one, or maybe you haven't. This Natura or Natura one coat almost seems to be Rubio repackaged. 
except it's $36.99 on Amazon, competing with the $64.99 price tag on Rubio Monaco Pure. This clear version smells similar to Rubio and comes with a hardener attached to the bottle. It's mixed at the same 3 to 1 ratio and applied the exact same way with a spreader and or a white scotch Brite pad. I just keep a bag of these cheap syringes in the shop for measuring mixtures like this anyways. I applied it with a white scotch Brite pad and buffed it into the surface. Bonus product is this awesome respirator face guard. I didn't have an application for it in this carving project, but it's great for power carving and anything with flying debris. It comes with extra filters and glass covers at a price of just $32.99. Well, here's the finished piece. Remember to name it for me in the comments. If you found value in this video, make sure to like and subscribe before moving on to one of these videos or playlists I have linked on the screen. Thanks for watching and happy building.